Welcome to Spatial Chat, a program that allows you to present, to chat, and to share information with others. It is a platform that relies on spatial awareness. So as you're closer to people, you hear them, and as you're further away, you don't. So for this conference, you're going to be given a link. It's going to be available on our mcsc.website website, and here you'll find the link to access our spatial chat room the day of the conference. It is highly recommended that you use Google Chrome because spatial chat is optimized for Chrome. If you're having issues, if you're using Firefox or Edge or Safari or any other platform, most of the time moving to Chrome will fix those issues. So once you have clicked the link to the spatial chat room, you're going to get prompted um, to enter in your name. So I usually use this for teaching. I'm going to actually change it to my first and last name. You can also upload a profile picture. So spatial chat does use webcams, but if you have your webcam off, you can use a picture so that it still shows your picture even if your webcam is off. You can write something in the about. Uh, perhaps you want to say what school you're coming from or industry. This isn't easily available or readily seen in spatial chat, but it doesn't hurt to put it either. The second screen that you get is going to prompt you about a microphone and webcam. You can change this while you are in spatial chat, but you could also turn it on and it's going to show, give you an idea of what your webcam is going to look like while working in the spatial chat space. And again, within spatial chat, you can change these settings as well. So once you're ready, go ahead and click join space. And what you can see is that you have been dropped off into a room. On the right hand side, you can see we have three different rooms, presentation room A, poster session, and the exhibition hall. Now these are going to change the actual day of the conference, but this is giving you a rough idea of what it's going to look like. Some other things you can see is down here on the bottom. Here are your camera and microphone options for muting and unmuting yourself. You can also use the megaphone, and we'll talk about this more in a little bit. You can also share emojis so that everyone in the space can see it. And you can also share your screen, which we'll show you uh, later. You can also share individual images, GIFs, and videos. On the right hand side, in addition to the rooms, there is a group-wide chat box that everyone in your room will be able to see. You can also minimize that whole thing so that you can see more of this play space. And then finally, you can click that gear icon to again pull up settings for different webcams and microphones. This is a zoomable space, and I mean actual like zooming in and out. So you can see as I zoom out, you can see a lot more of this virtual space. Lastly, you can actually move your bubble around to different parts of the space. And in a little bit, we're going to show you why that is important.